Hey there pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. The understanding of the awakening of devil fruits has been a topic of discussion for a long time. However, its explanation has remained quite elusive until now. So far, we have only observed the awakening of Zoan and Paramecia fruits, and the information provided has been considerably vague. Throughout the narrative of One Piece, it is possible to infer how the awakening of a fruit occurs. It's worth noting that we have not witnessed the awakening of Logia fruits yet, although the possibility of such fruits being awakened is not not ruled out. In today's video, we will delve into the details of the awakening of devil fruits, exploring the powers they grant to users, and speculating about characters who may have awakened Logia abilities, having already demonstrated such power. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to smash that like button, give us a thumbs up to unlock your devil fruit powers, and hit that subscribe button to awaken. Now, let's jump into the video. The powers bestowed by devil fruits can, in rare cases, reach awakening, significantly enhancing the user's abilities. According to Kaidu, awakening occurs when the mind and body of a devil fruit user achieve synchronization, acting in harmony. When a fruit is awakened, the enhanced abilities enable considerably greater power, more refined control, and the incorporation of previously unattainable new skills. The effects of awakening vary according to the type of devil fruit possessed by the user. After awakening, a period is required to fully master the acquired powers. If not completely mastered, they can still be used, but seriously impair the user's stamina. In the case of Paramecia fruits, awakening allows the user to utilize their fruit at a new level of strength and in ways different from the original. Doflamingo, Law, and Kid, holders of awakened Paramecia, have demonstrated various surprising new abilities. The awakening of a Paramecia enables the user to extend their power beyond their own body, altering the properties of the surrounding material to suit the nature of their fruit and manipulating this transformed material as they wish. For example, Doflamingo, after awakening the Ito Ito no Mi could extend his ability to create strings, transforming the ground and buildings into large quantities of manipulable strings without touching them. Katakuri, during his battle with Luffy, also modified the environment with his Mochi Mochi no Mi, making the walls of the mirror world flexible like Mochi and even edible. However, not all awakened fruits have the ability to transform and manipulate objects remotely. Some exhibit unique peculiarities. Despite this, the general idea of property alteration is is still present. Eustace Kid, after awakening the Jiki Jiki no Mi, for example, can magnetize not only his own body, but also other objects and living beings, strongly attracting them and burying them under mountains of metal. However, prior physical contact with the target is necessary to control his magnetism. Similarly, the awakening of Trafalgar Law's Ope Ope no Mi provides the ability to modify the properties of various objects, turning them into small rooms that defy conventional notions of space. It is relevant to note that the application of this awakening is manually conducted. Both Kid and Law have indicated that their awakenings have a significant impact on their bodies, attributing this effect to the high energy consumption required for execution. Therefore, these techniques are considered ultimate resources intended to defeat their opponents. It is still unclear whether this effect applies to all awakenings or if it is a specific characteristic of these fruits. Additionally, beyond the broad environmental impact, awakenings have the potential to confer complete completely new abilities to their users. For example, Kid can apply reverse magnetic polarities to non-metallic objects, resulting in intense attraction between them, eliminating the need to manipulate metal, which is the primary application of his fruit. In the realm of Zoan fruits, it is important to note that they can also be awakened. An awakened Zoan exhibits significant gains in strength, speed, and durability, as well as a more accelerated recovery rate, operating involuntarily even when the user is unconscious. However, as a drawback, the inherent nature of the fruit's animal consumes the user, transforming them into beasts with limited thinking. Awakened Zoan users typically display instinctive and powerful behavior, maintaining a form similar to their complete animal form, but with human characteristics. Uncertainty remains regarding the possibility of returning to the original form after awakening, or whether these new forms and mentalities are permanent, permanently altering the person's identity. On the other hand, Luffy's awakening awakened mythical Zoan devil fruit enhances his abilities similar to Zoan users while expanding his elastic powers. Although his mental state has undergone slight alterations, likely due to the peculiar nature of the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika, he still maintains conscious thought. However, it has been revealed that Luffy shares the same vulnerabilities as awakened Paramecia users, such as Law and Kid, who face severe exhaustion from exceeding their awakened powers.
hours. So far, we have not witnessed an awakened Logia or received detailed descriptions on the matter. Nevertheless, it is highly likely that a Kainu possesses an awakened Magu Magu no Mi, granting him the ability to create, control, and transform into magma at will. A Kainu demonstrates exceptional control over this powerful fruit, using it effectively in combat to face formidable opponents like Newgate. The Magu Magu no Mi, by itself, boasts formidable power, particularly excelling in terms of offense. This devil fruit grants the user the unique ability to transform, control, and generate magma to subdue their opponents. Magu possibly holds the devil fruit with the most intense heat among those exploiting this factor to harm enemies. As witnessed, Magu surpasses the flames of the Mera Mera, capable of instantly vaporizing an iceberg and boiling seawater upon contact with magma. This impressive power endures through a 10-day battle, permanently altering the climate of half the island into a scenario of infernal fire. In his Logia form, a Kainu has the advantage of allowing physical attacks, like punches and cuts, to pass through him harmlessly unless imbued with Buso Shaku Haki, capable of neutralizing Logia intangibility. However, direct contact with the user's body would result in severe injuries or burns, and even combat tools like swords have proven prone to melting upon touching a Kainu. The Magu Magu no Mi stands out for having one of the greatest offensive powers among Devil Fruits, enabling a Kainu to face opponents like Emporio Ivankov and Jinbi with minimal effort. Despite its strengths, the fruit does not reveal specific weaknesses, except for some notable exceptions. During conflicts, a Kainu failed to burn the flames produced by Marco's mythical zone fruit, Vista's swords, Shank's saber, and Whitebeard's Bicento. However, this phenomenon can be attributed to the elevated Haki of these prominent characters, preventing the magma from the Magu Magu no Mi from causing harm. Additionally, despite its naturally vulnerable abilities, Aokiji was able to inflict severe injuries on a Kainu during their epic 10-day duel. Other possibilities for injury include contact with sea stone and surprise attacks. Like any devil fruit, Uso Shoku Haki can negate the intangibility of Logias, but Sakazuki has shown considerable resistance to Haki-driven attacks. So far, only Edward Newgate managed to injure him using Haki in conjunction with the Gura Gura no Mi. The absence of demonstrated weaknesses from the awakening suggests that a Kainu's fruit may indeed be awakened in its perfect state, allowing him to use its full potential, similar to Doflamingo. However, the full extent of his power with this awakening has not yet been revealed, with the fight against Aokiji being a striking demonstration, though the details of the encounter remain concealed. Although the amount of information is limited thus far, indications suggest that a Kainu may indeed possess an awakened fruit. With the potential ability to modify the climate around him, this could include the ability to summon volcanoes, further intensifying the heat, making him one of the first awakened Logia fruit users, although this condition has not been officially confirmed. The hypothesis that a Kainu holds an awakened fruit brings fascinating implications about the true extent of his powers. If indeed, his Magu Magu no Mi is awakened, the ability to manipulate the climate and summon volcanoes could represent an evolutionary leap in Logia fruit abilities. The ability to modify the surrounding environment by creating volcanoes could transcend known limitations. A Kainu's potential to shape the battlefield to his will, creating devastating natural obstacles, would provide a new perspective on the power of devil fruits. However, the official confirmation of such an awakening is still pending. The precise details of the extent of this power and how it could be strategically employed remain largely unknown. Battles and future events may reveal more information about the true nature of a Kainu's Magu Magu no Mi awakening. The possibility that a Kainu is one of the pioneers among awakened Logia fruit users opens the door to explore the evolution and complexity of these unique powers. The world of One Piece, filled with mysteries and twists, holds fascinating surprises as characters continue to unveil the true potential of their superhuman abilities. With each new revelation, the world of One Piece continues to captivate audiences, inviting them to ponder the possibilities and consequences of awakened Logia fruits. As the journey unfolds, the narrative landscape of One Piece remains as expansive as the Grand Line itself, promising unforeseen twists, epic confrontations, and the unveiling of even more extraordinary abilities. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.